According to anonymous sources cited by The Logic, Canadian energy infrastructure giant Pembina Pipeline is close to announcing a collaboration to build a massive AI data center in Alberta. The plan reportedly involves Pembina working with Kineticor, a Calgary power generation firm, to supply natural gas-fired electricity. Beacon AI, a regional data center firm, is also reported to be part of the arrangement. The proposed site is in Alberta's industrial heartland, near Fort Saskatchewan, a cluster of petrochemical and energy infrastructure. That region already hosts carbon capture and storage CCS efforts, offering a potential path for Meta or other tech firms to manage their net carbon footprint. Earlier, Pembina and Kineticor had formed a joint venture to develop the Greenlight Electricity Center, GLEC, a 1.8 gigawatt natural gas power plant in the same area. Pembina's gas delivery would come via its Alliance Pipeline, a 3,800-kilometer network linking northern BC and Alberta to markets in the U.S. Midwest. Pembina has already floated the possibility of expanding that line to feed an additional 350 million cubic feet per day into the industrial heartland by 2029. Pembina's stock jumped about 6% on rumors of the meta deal. Earlier this year, the Alberta government proposed a 2% levy on data centers, a policy that reportedly stirred backlash among developers, including Meta, and has since been under review. Large language models and other advanced AI systems are notoriously energy-intensive. Training state-of-the-art models often consumes megawatt-scale power continuously over weeks or months. Inference serving, that is, running queries, also demands sustained electricity at scale. The large model providers are scrambling for reliable, affordable, low-latency power sources, especially in jurisdictions favorable to carbon mitigation. None of the major AI players want to be seen as heavy carbon emitters, and so they are increasingly eyeing power systems that are low-carbon or carbon-offsetable. But truly zero-carbon baseload is hard to come by in many places. Nuclear has appeal, and Microsoft has explored that path, but in much of North America, the regulatory, permitting, and capital timeline is prohibitive. That leaves natural gas, especially paired with carbon capture, as a near-term pragmatic lever. In that context, Alberta is staking a bet. A cold climate, which helps with data center cooling, existing pipeline infrastructure, and geographic proximity to North American tech flows. Meta's interest suggests that those attributes may now be paying off. One of the central advantages is Alberta's cheap, reliable, and abundant natural gas. Canadian gas often trades at a discount relative to U.S. benchmarks, reflecting transportation constraints and lower upstream costs. That makes it more competitive as a power feedstock. MidOcean's recent $3 billion acquisition of a stake in LNG Canada and associated upstream gas assets illustrates how capital is now valuing Canadian gas and integrated gas-to-export infrastructure. MidOcean's 20% stake will include upstream Montney assets and 20% of Petronas's interest in LNG Canada. The deal is structured such that they're paying nearly twice the current market multiple for the upstream gas assets and twice the U.S. market price for the LNG assets, implying confidence in long-term gas economics in Canada. Put differently, firms are paying up not just for the export infrastructure, but for control of the gas supply chain. That sends a signal. Canada's gas basins and operators are seen as higher quality, longer duration, and virtue-worthy in terms of low leakage, regulatory stability, etc. That flows right back into the AI power story. Data centers want uninterruptible, cleanish supply, and Alberta can offer that in spades. One of the big barriers for AI infrastructure is the optics and accounting around emissions. Companies like Meta, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft are under pressure to claim net zero or carbon neutral operations. Burning gas to power AI raises obvious conflicts with that messaging. That's where carbon capture, direct air capture, or CCS retrofit plans become strategic enablers. Alberta already has active CCS developments, especially around its industrial built. The Heartland Corridor is a locus for CO2 pipelines and sequestration formations, giving tech firms a local lever to claim low emissions. If the gas power plants, like GLEC, are built with CCS readiness or retrofitted later, 
AI operators can credibly argue that their compute is low carbon. Another advantage, Alberta's cold climate helps reduce cooling load. Data centers dissipate enormous heat, and in hot climates, the energy cost of cooling can be significant. In Alberta, ambient temperatures are lower, allowing more free cooling, outside air aquamization, and lower auxiliary energy use. Meanwhile, local and foreign capital is scouting Alberta power data real estate. There are reports of 30 or more data center proposals in Alberta and Saskatchewan in limbo, competing for grid capacity, generation commitments, and regulatory clarity. The presence of a marquee anchor client like Meta could help catalyze those stalled projects by reducing risk perceptions and validating Alberta as a compute jurisdiction. Meta is not alone. Alberta's government has actively courted AI hyperscalers, promoting its gas network as a competitive advantage. Several large tech firms have already announced or proposed expansion plans. Some hyperscalers are developing data centers elsewhere in Canada, for example, Quebec or Ontario, with renewable or hydropower. If the Pembina Meta deal goes forward, it would likely become a first mover, enabling infrastructure, gas expansions, transmission, grid augmentation that supports dozens more deals. To support AI scale loads, Alberta will require massive investments, more gas pipelines, new power plants, grid reinforcement, and possibly battery or inertia support. That gives local energy firms, EPC firms, and pipeline operators a multi-decade opportunity. A successful AI hub could help Alberta diversify beyond oil and gas extraction, creating high-tech jobs in design, operations, software, data sciences, and infrastructure. The upstream gas sector would remain relevant, but now feeding tech demand, rather than just export or local use. Large-scale gas-powered compute will invite scrutiny from climate activists, regulators, and investors. The success of carbon capture and sequestration efforts will be closely watched. If CCS retrofits fail or underperform, the dirty gas powering AI narrative could backfire politically. If Alberta becomes a proven AI hub, Canada could compete more effectively with US and European jurisdictions. It may attract more investment in AI research and data services. The geopolitical dimension is significant too. North America wants to retain its digital sovereignty and having local compute capacity is part of that. Gas and integrated infrastructure may be revalued in capital markets. If AI demand becomes a structural driver of gas consumption, Canadian gas firms could see a re-rating. That could also influence public market investments, M&A, and investor expectations. But grid bottlenecks, permitting delays, pipeline capacity, natural gas price volatility, regulatory reversals and public resistance, especially over carbon or emissions, could derail or dampen expansion. Alberta's policies, levies, subsidies, incentives, carbon regulation will need clarity and consistency to sustain investor confidence. If the Meta Pembina deal closes, it will not be an isolated headline, but a proof point. It signals that gas-centric AI power deals can be economically viable and regionally competitive. One large anchor client can make gas expansions, grid upgrades, pipelines, and cooling infrastructure more justifiable for subsequent clients. That unlocks scale, which in turn reduces unit cost, drawing in additional demand. Before long, Alberta could host multiple AI hyperscale facilities, forming a compute cluster analogous to how Alberta developed oil sands and petrochemical clusters in past decades. In short, we may look back on this deal as the moment Canada's AI era truly began, anchored in gas, carbon capture, and northern climate. But success is not guaranteed. Execution, regulatory stability, and emissions credibility will make or break how far this story runs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to this channel, Hum of the Earth Canada, for more relevant videos about Canada and its future. Also, this is a new channel, so subscribing helps a lot. You can also share your feedback and thoughts in the comments section. And if you're interested in cool places around the world, you can check out my other channel, Hum of the Earth. All right, that's gonna do it. Hope you enjoyed, until next time, have a great one.